Uh, today we rode our cross-plane Yamaha R1. It's a 2009. We took advantage of a really cool day, exceptionally cool summer day. Head out on the open road, and we just ran into a beautiful day. We didn't expect it to be this nice. Traffic was super low. We found some unusual uh, scenic photo shoots, including an army truck that had a waterfall coming out the back of it, among other things. But the scenery is nice. The, the temperature was nice, but the most important part of the whole day is we just love getting out on the open road on our R1. This bike has been so good for so long. Bulletproof engine, and it really has a great sound. Well, we, we, we've been waiting a long time for a day that it wasn't really, really hot or had a 70% chance of rain. We've had some of each. But what the one thing we haven't had is any days in the pleasant low 70s. Well, today is supposed to be one of them. So what I did, I got up super early, tried to take care of all the issues around the house that I have to take care of, made sure Karen and I are on the same page with our plan, and then I really am just looking forward to not having a day I have to be out of here so early in the morning so I don't avoid overheating, or what happens, uh, the weather controls everything here. But today is supposed to be a really nice day. And of course, my thing is I never really believed the weathermen anyway, but, but it's nice if they predict something good instead of predicting 70 or 80% rain. And, and God, we had a couple of days the wind was blowing so bad it was unbelievable. Well, today should be a really nice day. And I, boy, I am so looking forward to it. it. It's just a rare treat after all those 90 degree days. And we, we had a week of where it was really, really hot. And you get to ride every day, but you get to get out, have to be out at the crack of dawn, and then today should be a pleasant day. So looking forward to today. I hope you're going to enjoy sharing a ride with us. And of course, the most fun of all is to come out to the garage in the morning and know that all the bikes are ready to go. And you can pick one. I wish I had five different lives so I could come out. It's just not going to happen. So I have to meet at my time out, but today I just can't believe I haven't seen that 70 degree early in the morning for so long. I'm, I'm beside myself. Anyway, I got to finish the chores on the farm and decide which bike gets to be the lucky, the lucky ride of the day. Hope we had rain in the last couple of days too at the, in the middle of the night. And so sometimes the roads are wet in the morning and a lot of things factor into it. But the point is, I do like to get out every day. Well, before we do anything, it's time to take care of the farm. Oh my God, it's nice having this beautiful weather. I'm so used to getting up in the morning and having a race to try to beat the temperature, getting to be 90. Today is really going to be a treat. Every day on a farm, the peppers are growing like crazy. We have marigolds, birds chirping in the background. Every day, it's an exciting adventure doing a perp walk. Uh, every morning, we just walk our garden pruning, picking vegetables. We had lettuce from the garden last night. Chicken salad, in fact. Pretty soon we should grow up raising some chickens. Boy, there's a lot of nice flowers in this garden. And that's one of them right there. You got zucchinis growing? Why can't we just grow motorcycles from seeds? That would be great. Look at that. Wow. The farm, the farm is fun every morning. So maybe we can stop at Motorcycle Mall later and get some motorcycle seeds. Grow some Yamahas out here. Fresh cut flowers for the breakfast table. Oh, how nice. All year long. This is one of our favorite things every morning, just to come hang out here by the pond. And of course, the main thing is oogle a motorcycle. Don't worry, we would never forget to feed the fish. Oh my goodness, would that be a sin? Come on, guys. Come on, you want to go motorcycle riding every day? You got to eat. Hey. No substitute for having an extra cup of coffee in the morning when you got all this work to do. Every day, fresh cut flowers. That is so nice. And I always like to clean the bike a little bit before I head out on the road. Of course, do the pre-flight, the normal thing. Check the tires, the chain, the oil. 
I want to make sure the bike is reliable because I'll be a significant distance to push it home if it doesn't start. Anyway, I'm just fussy about the maintenance before I head out on the road and I usually ride alone. Okay, we've had our coffee. Final check of the weather. Farm, fish, birds, giraffes, everybody's happy. It's time to get out on the thing we love best. Get out on the open road with our R1. This is one of the coolest ponds. I've, I've photographed this before, but just check it out. It's, it's like an army truck with a waterfall coming out of it. That is pretty unique, I gotta admit. That is really, really cool. Very, very cool. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. That is really unique. Very, very cool. some beautiful private lakes along the way here and and some are actually private you're really not supposed to be there but they never seem to mind when I go there and take pictures maybe they take it as a compliment days I always try to find these little shady spots that I can just uh, park in and shoot a few pictures with the shade cool off a little but today it was cool to hold it
the back roads or main roads. Just a great place to ride. Once we get off the beaten path, here is some beautiful back roads with just nothing but grass growing on both sides of the road. Just a nice variety of conditions for doing a ride. And these rides always give me a chance to practice my photography skills, and uh, which for all in the eye of the beholder. But anyway, when it's cold out in the winter, I like to look back at these pictures. There's a couple of swans in some of these ponds. I didn't see any swans today. What's going on with the swans? And some of the beautiful lakes around Faison Lake, just beautiful. Couldn't be nicer. This whole area is so nice. I never get sick of riding in this area. Many of the homes and backyards up this way have interesting things, including barnyard animals, goats, sheep, chickens, pet giraffes. They got it all. Are they 
just couldn't be nicer out here on the back roads. Not much traffic at all. The beauty of today is just what kind of a variety of roads we get to ride on. There are some really nice back roads. There are some of these back roads that are nice and shady, so when it does get to be super hot, you get a little blast of cool air. There's, there's a variety of turns, a variety of nice secluded houses, beautiful houses, and some log cabins along the way, and God, there's something for everything. And, and I, this is what makes it interesting to me. No matter which way I go, north, south, east, west, once I'm in this area, all the roads are just very similar to this. And, and very, the biggest thing to me, very low traffic. I don't have anybody in a car in my field of view. Now it looks like the day is going to stay at in the 70s, just perfect weather. Perfect for a ride like today. And since I got the MT-09, I started using the quick shifter. I just keep wishing, and maybe I'll do it this winter, to get a quick shifter for this bike. Just a blue sky day, God, and it's so nice and cool compared to the week before, wow. We are really taking advantage of nice weather here. So one of our favorite destination spots, Hidden Acres. Beautiful roads up this way. Check this out, if you like old trucks. I guess that's uh, ready for restoration. That's pretty cool. <laughs> These guys are pretty unique guys here, I gotta admit. There's cool stuff everywhere to ride. And with a really nice ride behind us, it's time to take that boring 30 mile ride home on flat top flat roads, and state police, but we'll make it. Hey, baby, I love 70-degree days. <laughs> Boy, God, this was so much nicer than when it was 90. Holy mackerel. What a day. Oh, if only we could move to a part of the world where it was like this all year long. <laughs> I'm not sure that's going to happen, but look at the day, and we really treasure having these days, and uh, I'm sure Karen has plans. Anyway, as always, I want to thank the healthcare workers, and thank Karen for making us a great life. It just couldn't be a lot better than this. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. So if you're new to the channel, we do try to ride the back roads of northern New Jersey, southern New York. We do try to post up something motorcycle related every day or almost every day. We try to share the passion that we have for motorcycles, old, new, actually all the bikes, even dirt bikes, even touring bikes. It just doesn't matter at all. We try to share it with our friends and share the passion they seem to have too, even for two strokes. 
Even we even still have two stroke days. And we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, share it with your friends. And we hope we'll see you tomorrow too.